So I've been reviewing Hohem gimbals for a very long time and in fact I've reviewed their gimbals year after year after year and you know what they kept getting better and better and better. Today is no exception so let's go ahead and take a look at the new iSteady V3. Really excited about some of the updates they've made to this, really cool features in this so let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So this is the gimbal, it's very lightweight foldable, compact, very easy to take with you anywhere. It does come with a little carry pouch as well in the box, as well as a USB-C charging cable and a user manual. The design of this, I think is the nicest they've had. And in fact, one of my key features of this is this here. This is a detachable remote control for the gimbal. Usually these are embedded onto every gimbal that I've used in the past. I believe this is the industry's first detachable remote control for a three axis smartphone gimbal. So it literally just pops out and you can now control your phone wirelessly with all of the same controls that you want from your gimbal. So you no longer have to always go to your gimbal, set it up, come back and then start your filming. You can just use this from a distance and this is paired by a Bluetooth. We'll show how this works, but it just literally slots back in and it will charge once you've put it back onto the gimbal. So that is a very, very nice feature and I'm really happy with the way that this works in my tests. You have yourself this orange wheel. This will allow you to turn on the fill light. You have yourself the power button, the USB-C port there. And just at the bottom there, you can see this has little legs, which are the actual tripods. This is a very nice design. Traditionally, you will get a tripod that you have to screw into the bottom as a separate accessory in the box. But with this integrated, this literally just pulls out you turn these sideways, then you have one on the other side. And this becomes your tripod like so. So that is very nice, convenient, and it is a metallic leg as well. So you, you don't need to worry about this not being strong enough to hold your phone when you do turn this on. And then you literally just open it up and then you're ready to connect your phone. Now we'll dive into a little bit more about how the fill light and the AI gestures work and also the detachable remote, and then also take some shots using the gimbal to see how smooth the footage is. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. Okay, so I've just put my phone onto the mount and this part is actually quite important. So when you turn this on for the very first time, you may notice that the phone is actually mounted by default in portrait view. So I'm just going to unlock this. So I've just opened up the Hohem app. The first time you open it up, it will connect, make sure you have the latest app, make sure the firmware is up to date. Now, if you don't want the phone to load up in portrait mode when you do turn on the gimbal, then you can very easily change that. Now, one of the reasons why this happens is because they want to have a more of an emphasis with their AI features to let the AI gesture tracking from the module be available from all sides. So not only can you see that on the left, but if this is mounted at the bottom underneath when it's in landscape view, the AI tracking works perfectly fine as well. And you can use the AI tracking with the camera on the back of the phone. So you don't necessarily need to worry about the positioning of it. But if you do want to change it into landscape by default, every time you turn on the gimbal, you go into settings, you go into the gimbal settings, then you have an option here which says boot landscape portrait orientation. You can see portrait will be there by default. Now you can choose between landscape with the AI facing up and also the AI facing down. If you do the AI facing down, of course the module is at the bottom. This should work absolutely fine, but you would have to make sure that your phone is rotated the other way so that the camera lens on the back does not point to the gimbal axis. If you do landscape AI facing up, this is more of the natural way where most people are used to. And this is where I will be showcasing a lot of the shots taken on this. But I will take a couple of shots as well in portrait view as well, just to showcase that everything works great, whether it's in landscape or portrait. So that's something I wanted you to be aware of, just in case you do get this gimbal and you notice that it's in portrait mode by default. It's nothing to worry about. It's very easily changed from the settings here and is very customizable. And again, with the Hohem Joy app, it's exactly the same app with a whole bunch of templates and nice cool features that you can use. You can take a lot of nice moment shots, you can take slow motion, time lapse, video, and do a whole bunch of things with the Hohem Joy app. But you don't necessarily need to rely on the app to use any of the AI features, which we're going to dive into now. I've connected the phone to the Bluetooth of the gimbal itself, which you can see indicated by the Bluetooth symbol just here on the detachable remote. You can actually change the mode by just pressing the M button here. Right now it's on pan follow. You press this once, it goes to pan tilt follow. Press it again, it's on POV. Press it one more time, 
and it'll go into locked with all of the symbols now displayed. Then you also have a battery symbol just underneath there as well, which shows amber, which indicates roughly how much battery life you have left. And it does display this in the user manual, but this gives you all day batteries. But if you don't use the fill light or the AI gestures, then you can get a whole day's battery, maybe up to 11, 12 hours, which I think is great. But if you do use all of these features at the same time constantly, then you still get a very good, maybe five to six hours. If you press the mode again, it will go back to the beginning. If you double press this, it will rotate the phone into portrait mode and you can always go back. And as always with the trigger button at the back of the gimbal, you can always double press to center it. So if I just tilt it to the side, there we go, back to center. So let's just take a look at how this works. Now I've detached the remote control. If I wanted to start filming at a distance, then because I've already paired it via Bluetooth, if it's on video mode or photo mode, the shutter button on the remote can actually start the recording or take photos. So right now it's on video, so if I press the Shutter. There you go, you can see it's now started recording and I can actually wirelessly control this with the joystick on the remote control as well, which I think is great. On the side of this, you also have a trigger button just on the right hand side of the remote control and this does the same things as the trigger button on the back of the gimbal, which is also a very nice feature. So let's say I want to recenter it, then I just need to double press this. There you go. And if I wanted to turn it into portrait mode, I can just do everything from a distance and I don't necessarily need to go and play around with the gimbal. One other thing I really like about this detachable remote module is that not just you can see the indicators on the remote, you can actually see the light indicators on the actual gimbal behind where the remote sits. So you have your Bluetooth icon, which is a blue light just there. The middle one is the battery, which is amber. And then the right one is the green connection indicator for the remote control to show that it is paired just like it is underneath the joystick on the remote itself. And if you want to rotate the gimbal 180 degrees, you just triple press the trigger, like so, and you can see how smooth that is. And press it again to bring it back. Let's put this back in. And if you pair this with the Hohem Joy app, which I've also reviewed many times on their previous gimbals, then you can use the up and down arrow buttons to actually zoom in the video as well, a digital zoom, or if you just pair it with Bluetooth, then you can actually roll this and rotate the actual gimbal itself whilst the phone is on there. Now let's take a look at the fill light. To take this off, you just need to press down the buttons on the side of this, and this very easily pops off like this. Now this is reversible, so you can position it whichever way you like, front or back. And then once you do do that, let's just do it like this. You just have to turn it on with the little switch on the side of the light. So you can see there's a red LED light to indicate that it's now on, and you can start using the gesture tracking. Now, if you wanted to turn the fill light on, like I mentioned, you have the orange wheel just on the side of the gimbal there. Let's go ahead and just test out because this has three modes of light. So I've just made the room a little bit darker so you can see it. If you just hold this down for a couple of seconds, the fill light turns on. The first mode there is a very warm light. So this goes from 2,700 to 6,500 Kelvins on the CCT scale. If you slide this, this dims it or makes it brighter. If you double press, this goes to the next fill light, which is a natural light. Again, you can just increase the brightness, double press, and this goes to a cold white light. So you can really adjust this to match your environment and how you want to appear on your videos or photos. But this is a very nice feature, which I've always enjoyed using on the Hohem gimbals. And when you're ready to turn this off, you just hold down the orange button and the light will turn off. So now let me show you a quick example of how smooth the AI gestures work because they have updated this. So it now feels faster, smoother, more fluid, and ultimately very responsive. Okay, so now let's test out the AI tracking. I also have the detachable remote with me. I've just taken it off the gimbal and I have the fill light turned on for the AI gestures. So it's very simple to start following me. You have to give the okay symbol, but before I do that, I'm just going to start the recording. There we go. And then you just give the okay symbol. The light has turned green and it's very quick and easy. So if, uh, as soon as I start moving around, you can see how smooth and fluid this actually is. Even if you go very fast, this is going to follow you very quickly, very easily. And it doesn't 
cause any problems with the smoothness of the footage when it's on the gimbal as well. So I'm actually very impressed with this. You can see, as I would expect with the Hohem quality gimbals, AI gestures work absolutely great. And when I'm ready, just to give it the stop symbol, I can do that. Now let me recenter it, double press the shutter. And if you want to create videos for TikTok or Instagram and you want to just shoot in portrait mode, then of course you can double press the mode button on the detachable remote to switch it to portrait mode, or you can use a gesture and it's very fast, very responsive. All you need to do is give two thumbs up like this. How quick and easy was that? Of course, you do the same to bring it back to landscape or you just double press the mode button and there you go. You are pretty much covered for any type of filming that you want to do. So the AI gestures for me has always been a very useful feature. Let's put the remote back in. This also has an extendable tripod built into it. So if you want to get some really further group shots from the phone, you can actually extend this out. You, we've seen this in other camera gimbals. We've seen this with like the Insta360, but this is a very nice thing. So it's got an extension rod from the top. You literally just pull it out. And it has this three levels, it's about 30 centimeters. You can now start taking photos at a higher angle and just really get more people in your shot as well when you're doing filming. Or even if you're in your large crowd, then you can overlook the crowd by just making this a little bit higher. So that's a very nice feature that they've integrated into this. And to be honest, I think they've just thought of everything. Any type of scenario that you need for your filming has been covered by this gimbal. So for me, this is like an all-in-one solution. Now, at the end of the day, this is a gimbal. So let's go ahead, take this outdoors, and I'm going to show you a montage of some really smooth shots that I've taken with this. I've taken a few with the extension pole, extended fully out. I've taken it with different modes. So hopefully it gives you a good idea of how smooth and how clear you can get your footage using the iSteady V3. So that's it. Hopefully you found that review useful. I'm very happy with this. This pretty much does everything that I would need it to. You can pair this with the Hohem Joy app and use a lot of rich templates to create some really cool cinematic shots as well. But if you just want to use it with your phone, this is literally plug and play. It's ready to go. You mount your phone onto it and then you can use the detachable remote control, which is probably one of my favorite things. The AI tracking as well for me, it has been faster than any of their previous magnetic fill lights for AI gestures. So they've done a lot of improvements on that front. So overall, I'm happy. And if you want to learn more about this gimbal, find out all of the key technical specifications and any other features I may not have covered, then make sure to hit that link in the description. It was just launched, so they will probably have introductory launch pricing discounts as well. So make sure you check out the latest pricing information. And if there's anything else you want to know, as always, drop a comment, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all at the next one. Take care.